This is Ryan. It's uh, the 30th of March, um, 2014, uh, for Cincy Life Radio. Um, just uh, hanging out in Sacramento today. It's my last day here. I'm about to catch my plane in about 10 more hours. So I've got 10 hours to kill and nothing much to do, so I'm hanging out at this park on a Sunday. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about family. Um, now that I've got some, some time to recover and I don't have to work every day, I don't have the busy schedule that I used to have, I, I can just heal. Um, I actually had to resign from my job that I've had for the last six years as part of this uh, compromise and release uh, agreement with the company that I worked for um, via my workers' compensation case. So I, um, you know, I have soldier, so shoulder surgery and I have ankle and leg surgery all in the same day coming up here on April 9th. And so I'll be laid up again for another couple of months and just taking it easy. So you know, I've had some time to reflect on the past and family. I really miss them. I wish I could, you know, reach out to a lot of them and uh, not have an issue. There's always, there's always drama with family. Um, and it's always been this way. I mean, before I was born, you know, before I even existed, uh, this existed in my family. There was always some sort of violence or there was some sort of drama, argument, uh, competition, jealousy issue. I I've heard all the stories. You know, I lived with my grandma for most of my life, um, and or she lived with me, you know. Uh, so I I've heard the stories and I know what's happened in the past and I know that, you know, that now a lot of them will, will put the, point the finger at me, even though for years they pointed the finger at each other for all the drama and problems in our family. But um, before I ever existed, they were doing the same thing to each other. They were pointing the finger at each other. Oh, you did this. Oh, you did that. Oh, you're this. Oh, you're that. All this bullshit and all that bullshit. Um, so in my journey in life, in, in the issues that I've had with my family, it's something that uh, has inspired me for a positive thing, I think. Um, so all of these uh, years I've been looking at technology for lie detection and polygraph and things like that, um, you know, like personal usage, uh, consumer type electronics for polygraph or lie detection. Um, and it's inspired me. I, I bought a couple of uh, devices. I bought one called the Truster and I've gotten some applications that I've bought online. Uh, for this purpose, just just to test, just for research and development purposes, and uh, it's inspired me to make my own Android application, which I'll be doing soon. Um, you know, so when someone's like, "Hey, you know, so and so said this," or "Hey, so and so said that," or you know, or this or that problem is this or that uh, because of this or that, you know, whatever. Um, you know, he said, she said, bullshit. I would love just to have like a, a and I've always said this uh, since I've been researching this, but like a little device you hold in your hand, like a tricorder, that you could just listen to somebody, you know, use their microphone on the, on the, on the little uh, device to analyze a conversation and, you know, see if there's uh, deception in the conversation, see if there's deception in the statements. And uh, I think that an Android device would be the best uh, device, the best, uh, most portable, most easily accessible device that everybody has or everybody has access to um, you know they could buy an application and they could use it to, to, to do testing you know on on their um, um, conversations their interactions with people and um, you know I'd love to just clear the air with people I'd love if, if other people like people that would point their finger at me and accuse me of something or say shit about me behind my back if they would make a video a public video put it online I'm not afraid I, I've got nothing to hide um, but just so that they could be accountable just so that you know what they say could be public could be accountable and they would be you know um, be able to be analyzed as this technology improves. I don't think it'll be a hundred percent when I make this application and I will, I will most definitely develop this application. I don't think it'll be a hundred percent accurate. It'll give hints to, you know, what's going on in the conversation and it may or may not be reliable, but you know, it'd be an indicator. It'd be, it'd be something to analyze. It'd be something interesting. But as the technology develops, as it gets more and more accurate, um, as other people come out with stuff and improve on it, um, you know, I'd love for people to have their accusations public so it could be analyzed, so that I could be like, well, you know what, you're a fucking liar, and I can prove it. Scientifically, I can prove it. Um, that's all I wish for, you know. 
I, uh, I've lived a, a good life. I, I left home early. Um, you know, my mom will say that I, I, uh, I was playing the victim when I moved out, but it's funny that, that, that she would say that because when I moved out, she had moved out. My mom and dad separated when I was like 12. And my mom moved in with my grandmother, and I moved in with my mom and grandmother at the same house. And when my mom went back to my father, who was an alcoholic um, and was violent and was irrational, uh, when she went back to him, I just stayed behind. I didn't go back with her. Um, you know, they insisted that I move back in, and I, I rejected it for years. And uh, eventually they forced me to. They, they forced me into, like, inpatient rehab. And... Um, you know, made me uh, go through this whole like uh, emotional um, analyzation for 30 days and stuff, uh, and then they they forced me to move back in with them after I was released. But had they not forced me, I would have never, ever um, moved back in with them willingly. I would have never opted in for that. And uh, you know, they say that I'm a victim. Well, hell, when I got the chance, I just left home. I was a problem solver. I wasn't a victim. I wasn't playing, oh, poor me, or anything like that. I mean, you know, my dad was violent. We had a lot of issues, and I just didn't feel good at home. I didn't feel, I didn't have a high self-esteem. My dad was, you know, was um, demeaning and, and irrational when he was drunk, and I didn't like it. And that's why my mom left, and that's that's why I left. Um, the difference is, is that she went back, and I didn't. And uh, when I was able to, I moved out of home. And when I was a young child, I was, you know, like 15, 16 years old, I started traveling. Um, I ended up in Seattle when I was 17, you know, living on the streets. I was just kind of bumming around. But, you know, even then I wasn't like, oh, poor me, victim me, victim that. I didn't even take public assistance. I took public assistance for one month of two and a half years. And they said that I could have taken it for six months without having to reapply. But after the first month, after I started figuring things out and was able to feed myself, I got off the public assistance and, um, you know, I wasn't, you know, looking for handouts or, or sympathy. I was, I was just trying to get along in life. I, I was having a good time and, uh, you know, sometimes it wasn't so good. Sometimes I got beat up and, you know, I, I got stitches all down my face. I, you know, my nose got ripped off and my uh, lip got split here and here. And, you know, I, I had a couple of times where I was hurt badly on the streets. Um, but most of the time I was exploring and I was having fun. I, I didn't have a complaint in the world. And then after I decided to clean up my act and get straight and go on the, you know, uh, path of uh, production and, you know, accomplishment, I, um, you know, when I was like 21 years old, I started working for eToys, got a great job, really high paying job, uh, right off the streets, right, no, no, no college, nothing. Um, after that, I got a job with Microsoft. And uh, I still hadn't gone to college. And during my job with Microsoft, I, I started going to college for certifications, um, but I didn't even get very far. I just continued to get good jobs. I've always had good jobs. I uh, worked for Dentrix Dental Systems, and then recently I worked for this company called Talist. In between all that, uh, my wife and I ran our own business, and we were very successful. Uh, for, you know, 10 years of our life together, we were very successful in business. We, we, uh, we've done good, so, you know, I'm not a complainer, but when people, you know, uh, especially family, I mean, come on, these are people you're supposed to be able to trust. When they say, oh, you play the victim, or oh, boo-hoo you, and you say things like, you know, you know, or, or victim-type statements, when? Tell me when. I mean, I mean, uh, you know, I, I can prove, you know, the things that I've said. My dad was an alcoholic. He has an arrest record a mile long. Uh, he has felony uh, convictions, he has misdemeanor convictions, he has violence, he has uh, DUIs. I mean, he was an asshole. What can I say? It's provable. It's public record. People can look that up. Um, you know, as far as uh, my living on the streets and everything, I mean, I, I think that, you know, my public assistance record is public. I think people could look that up. I'm not sure. Um, but, you know, I, I wasn't out there asking for things. I, I was out there looking to make my way in life. And, and now my wife and I are doing very good. I just settled my workers' compensation case and, you know, we, we ended up with a few bucks and we're going to be able to uh, develop the software and to do things with our life productively and invest and, and make something of ourselves more so than we already have. I mean, um, you know, my house is almost paid off and stuff. I mean, I'm doing all right. Uh, all our cars are paid off. Everything's good. My life is good. I'm not complaining. I'm not playing no victim. But with this software that I'm going to develop, 
um, I would love to analyze the accusations my family throws at me because I think it's fascinating. I think it's really funny. Um, you know, they're the ones that are, are typically complaining. They're the ones that have spent, you know, a good portion of their life on public assistance and asking for freebies and stuff. But, uh, you know, they're, they're projecting their failures on myself. They're, they're pushing their, their BS that they've dealt with in their life and projecting it on me. Um, even though it doesn't belong to me, it belongs to them. So let, let's do that. You guys, you know, if you're my family and you're watching this or you have an accusation for me, you want to accuse me of something, uh, make a video, make a public video, and let's analyze it. I'll respond to it too. And people can analyze my response and see, you know, how truthful I am when more of this software is developed and when it, you know, continues to improve. Um, I, I'm more than game. Let's do it. Peace out.